Uh, this video is an update on uh, one that I made a while ago where I talk about streaming from OptiTrack's Motive software into Unreal Engine uh, using LiveLink and how the stream was not scaling appropriately. This is an update to uh, point out that it's now scaling as expected, which is great. So let me switch to my desktop here and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, put that there. Uh, all right, so here we've got motive running in my background with a piece of motion uh, streaming into Unreal Engine using live link here. So I've got my OptiTrax running locally and here is my performer. And over here in my outliner uh, I've got two skeletons. Now this skeleton that we see here is this skeleton that you get with the plugin. So with your OptiTrax plugin loaded in your plugins folder, in the live link folder, there's a content folder and in there is an FBX that you can, you know, bring into your scene. Uh, with the Force Front X toggled on, you'll be able to stream onto this. So what I've got here is an animation blueprint. I've got this in my scene two times. Uh, one time with an animation blueprint that looks like this live link pose and on this subject I have a custom uh, remapper so you can use this OptiTrax remapper uh, but I've chosen to make a custom one one that is scaled and one that is not scaled so here's the scaled one and these custom remappers you can make these with a blueprint in the all classes search for OptiTrax uh, components and there is a Anna under the not anim instance under the live link retarget assets you can sub you know make make one of these and it will subclass this this is the live link retarget asset that's what I did to make these I made one that looks like this no changes here to any of the remapping because by default these are the opti tracks uh, sorry, these are the OptiTrack bone names over here on the left and here on the right. These are the mannequin bone names. So these are the bone names that the mannequin has. These are unreal bone names here. So it's remapping from OptiTracks to unreal uh, mannequin bone names. And down here at the bottom, I have one with this toggled on and another one with this toggled off. And then I've made two animation blueprints, one scaled on is reading the one that's scaled here, reading the one that's scaled and one that's scaled off, not scaled, is reading the one that says not scaled. And I put them both in my scene and, and you can see clearly that one of them is the same size as the reference skeleton and the one that's not scaled is the original size of that skeleton which I thought was amazing. It was great. When I did this in the past, uh, the scaling was uh, broken. So that looks like it's fixed. One of the things I noticed though is this does not seem to work as expected on the mannequin. So here I've got my Quinn mannequin. And I thought if, uh, if I use this same approach on the mannequin, with the remapper because the remapper is going again from OptiTrax bone names onto mannequin bone names. If I use that, uh, I should be able to stream right onto the mannequin. I won't need a custom uh, skeleton, uh, but for some reason that doesn't work. So here is the remapper not scaled. Looks like that. Uh, but when I look at it with the scaling applied, here's the one that is scaled. Uh, it does this, which is you know, undesirable. Uh, I don't know why that is. It could be because this skeleton I thought was not uh, facing the front axis and I thought that was a, a reasonable theory. So I went, uh, I tried all this also on the the, the UE4 mannequin, uh, but again I got scaled uh, with the um, on just a straight up mannequin looks like this and so I exported it and re-imported it with the force front x-axis uh, but it still looks messed up so here's the here's the one with the front axis 
you can see facing this way. Here's the original. In the thumbnail, you can see it facing the right way. Uh, but it does this. I don't know why. Maybe the, some of the bones are, are locked from getting scaled correctly, or maybe someone out there knows why this is. You can actually use this to stream right onto the skeleton with this one. This one does work, but it doesn't scale. Compile and compile. This one doesn't seem to have the scaling enabled, so this is still the original size. Uh, and we can even demonstrate that here in my scene. I will hide the last one I put in there. So now I'm just showing the live link display. Uh, and we'll show this mannequin, which is the one that is using this thing. So now we can add a live link skeletal animation to this uh, and we'll take away all the transforms we'll lower it just a tiny bit so that it's on the floor and you can see it's not scaled because the feet we'll zoom in here a little bit you can see the feet are kind of squishy and slidey kind of spongy and slidey so that's what it looks like when it's not being scaled appropriately now we can retarget this so here's a retarget actor and the one that's selected is being properly retargeted from a properly scaled skeleton which i can show here source visible that's the scaled skeleton retargeted onto the same manny skeleton you could see that one is overtaking the other because the steps are being scaled appropriately in the retargeting process uh, so that's remapped and this one is properly retargeted. So you can see the highlighted one, the feet are sticking much better. Uh, so this is really good news because it means you can make a generic skeleton, uh, which I've got here, generic skeleton. I'll put it into my scene, looks like that. And you can make a blueprint now with this skeleton that has no remapper. If you make your generic skeleton like I have here, this one has all OptiTrack bone names. Here's my skeleton, here are the bone names. These are the names of the streaming, uh, that the stream is providing into Unreal Engine. So if you name these the same as the stream in your skeleton, the, then you don't need any remapper. You can just stream right onto here. So this one has no special remapper, it's just the regular standard live link remap. So if you create a live link pose nose, you'll get this by default and you don't need any other changes and you'll get your motion onto that skeleton. Uh, and even better, that motion is now scaled correctly. This used to, um, in the past, or maybe I've never tried this, I don't know, but uh, I believe this wasn't working as expected before. This wasn't scaling. But again, I might be wrong, I don't know. Maybe I never tested this, maybe I didn't test it correctly. Uh, but if I, if I put my animation blueprint on here, this one, and I add a live link skeletal animation. Uh, that one will move and be scaled appropriately. So you can see it's kind of shrunk. And if we take away all of the transforms, it will be lining up. I'll hide these yellow ones. It will be lining up with my reference. So that's the, the references in black and it's just right underneath. The skeleton, so everything is scaled appropriately. And this is the perfect thing to retarget from. Now, previously, when this was when this was not being scaled, uh, I don't know when this update happened. I didn't see anything in any release notes or anything, but I just tried it yesterday. Uh, and it worked, which is great. So now I don't need to go through the process that I was doing previously, which was uh, making a skeleton that is scaled appropriately for every performer that comes through. So I was exporting an FBX, running it through a script in Maya, and uh, using that to stream onto so I would get the right scale and could retarget from. I don't need to do that anymore. Now I can retarget from this skeleton. So that's all. I just wanted to update on that. 
So that's going to be helpful for anyone using OptiTrax to stream into Unreal Engine and try and do a live retarget setup. Uh, that's all for this one. I'm going to make another video soon about other updates that I've been doing on my workflow.